We're live. Okay. <laughs> no, no, you can keep talking about your dream. It's it's fine. Well, that was it. I picked a good day. I don't know. The dream was something else. Okay. Well. One thing is, though, the calendar. Lenny. Okay, so. Lenny. What? I said Lenny. Who's Lenny? No, this doesn't matter. Okay. Well, <laughs> well one. What? It doesn't matter, does it? Okay. Well, one time I got a call from a telemarketer. I know you said you didn't. You don't really get calls from telemarketers, so I'm just gonna say my story anyway. But <laughs> and anyway, the telemarketer called, and I don't know if this was a guy or a girl or what, but it sounded kind of like both. His name or his or her name was Lisa, but it sound it sounded like this. It sounded like this. This is his voice. So he, he said, he said, hi. He said, hi, my name is Lisa. And I'm like, are you a guy or a girl? What the heck? He was like, I should be either or, depending on your sexual preference. Whoa. It's like you're me. Your me is like, what do you want to, what do you want me to be? <laughs> No, he was he was like talking about some sort of like credit card crap or something like that. But it was like a scam. It was clearly a scam, and I tell it was a telemarketer. And your name and credit card information. Can I have your credit card number, sir? I'm not gonna steal it. I swear. You just like roll your eyes, like yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, uh, Lisa was calling. And I immediately just started mocking the guy, or guy or girl, and <laughs> it's like I just Im I just immediately start imitating uh, their voice. And I was like, "Hi, my name's so and so." I didn't say so and so. I just said my actual name, but I'm not gonna say that on the voice chat. But <clears throat> I was like, "Hi, my name's so and so," and and you were like asking about something and. <laughs> I was like, no, I am currently cur surrounded by a bunch of ninjas. <laughs> and they're like, and, and, and they're like, well, is there anything I can do to help? And I'm like, not right now, Lisa, but I think I might need some size. <laughs> and I was just, I just, I was just screwing with them at this point. I was just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> This is the name. This is like, wait, this is the eighties. <laughs> yeah, who uses size anymore, man? <laughs> who uses? Excuse me. Who uses ninjas anymore? <laughs> no one attacks ninjas. Everyone knows that when the nineties came around, we realized ninjas were stupid. That's why we canceled the, 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 the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> no, that's actually on Nickelodeon still. Uh, well, I mean, I mean, like the old eighties cartoon. Nickelodeon. <laughs> Uh, they gave, it's funny, Nickelodeon canceled their 3D CG, um, Nickelodeon, uh, Ninja Turtles show. Yeah, because not everyone or has, uh, 3D glasses. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure they stopped getting enough eyeballs to sustain it. I mean, yeah, I never even watched Nickelodeon, I had cable. Anyway, the point being is that they canceled that show. Started the new show. Yeah, the, the more CGI. Except all of them. And no, it's less CGI. It's 2D oh. animation. Oh. Except all the characters are are uh, uh, except April O'Neil is now a sassy black girl, and all of the Ninja Turtles are now uh, sassy black guys. Oh my gosh! Every single one of them. Why do I see this? Why do I see where this is going? Except for Donatello, he's just he's just this, he's just like the, the black guy that's trying to like be like, hey, maybe we should calm down. And we're just like, yo, you're crazy, dog. <laughs> Dear goodness. And that's pretty much what it is, and it's fantastic. <laughs> All of them are the funny ones, and the fight scenes are great. <laughs> wow. And April O'Neil is now insane, as opposed to just being.
being captured. She just like immediately she, she sees she sees a bad guy and she's like kill him. <laughs> yeah, bro. No, no, she's like damn, dog, you ugly. Wait, she says that? <laughs> no, she doesn't say damn, dog, not Nickelodeon. Oh, but say I don't think that would get past their budget. No, <laughs> the budget. I don't think the budget's the problem. Are uh, you sure? I don't think. I think they can. They get a lot of phone. I think if they aired that, they get a couple phone calls, and by a couple, I mean a lot. A phone calls <laughs> and by a couple, parents. I mean a few thousand. And by a few thousand, I mean a few million. Angry parents saying, "Why'd you say, damn dog, you ugly?" On this show back to freaking mutant turtles that are ninjas. <laughs> a five-year-old is very sensitive. All right. Well, I mean, I don't even know why I let him watch this show. I mean, to be honest, whenever I'm like at school or something, I hear like the N word and F word like every five seconds. Oh my gosh, what school is different? Well, to I be mean, honest, on... my school lives is like I don't know, like a few blocks away from like the hood. So I don't know if that. From the hood. No, I'm serious. No, it like, is. Mine isn't really from the hood, but it's like kids swear all the time. I remember one time. The kids were, they still thought the n-word was taboo, like, let me put it that way. It's like it's a cursed word. Yeah, I remember one time, well, I don't think it's cursed, because I had a black friend. Oh, well then you're good, you got it, you got the n-word. Yeah, my black friend who was like, yeah, you can say it, who cares, it's just a word. Yeah, I mean, I, I usually say this a lot, it's like, a bad, a curse word is a word that society defines as wrong. So basically, I can say the word the is a curse word. You know, so Sorry, it's hold on. no matter what they say, you know, my heart. I'm doing a Tarzan quiz. Why? Fuck fandom. Just cause. Why not? Mom, <laughs> are you sure that this water is sanitary? Uh, uh, that's uh, Turk. No, it was not Turk. Kerchak is uh, the leader of the gorilla family. Yes, he is. Kala sings. Trash in the camp. Is this no, Buzzfeed? This is fandom. Oh, okay, good. Kirk is a guy. No, he's a guy. He's a girl. He is a she. <laughs> he is a she. He is a she. Get out of there. It's a trap. I believe it was yellow. Yes, it was yellow. He is a she. He is a she. Get out. It's a trap. I should have known because uh, Turk is voiced by, um, not Whoopi Goldberg. Um, that'd be afraid of everything. Whoopi Goldberg <laughs> plays <laughs> Turk. Hold on. Let me go. That'd be great if it was Whoopi Goldberg. Tarzan, no, it's some... The most some woke movie. character there. Whoopi Goldberg is not the most woke. If, she, if you wanted to make him the most woke character, you get her played by Oprah. Bruh, she played a uh, oh, no, character... No, she played no, a character no, in wasn't Ghost. Even, wasn't even a black girl. It was Rosie O'Donnell, who is far more woke than Whoopi Goldberg, by the way. She's the, she's the most chill actress. I mean, I, I saw Ghost, so I would know. I know everything. I saw Ghost. I saw her. She got real woke one time. Who? Really, really woke. Rosie O'Donnell. Oh. In fact, she's so woke that she is lesbian. Really? Yeah. She's married to two women. Oh. One of them only lasted a couple of months. Lasted between 2004 and 2004. One lasted a couple of hours. And the other one... Lasted until 2015. Michelle Rounds, who also unfortunately passed away in 2017, only because she got kissed by Rosie O'Donnell, and everyone knows that Rosie O'Donnell is a venomous animal. <laughs> <laughs> it's a venomous animal. Jeez, man, it's a viper that needs to be stomped on. Yeah, she wears bright colors frequently, and as we all know, um, all venomous things are brightly colored. <laughs> wow. So I guess, I guessing then that Lady Gaga's outfits are very venomous too. Oh my gosh, Lady Gaga! Like you, but you even you, like she breathes on you, dude. You're freaking biting the fire coffin. <laughs> you may as well just stomp, uh, wander over to the Undertaker, man. You better hit. So, Lady Gaga breathes on you. Dude. What are you gonna do? Kill yourself? That's what I'd recommend. What? Kill yourself before you die. No, 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 no. Do not kill yourself. In fact, treasure it. Save it in a jar. Breathe on you. You better take it 
take all that condensation, put it in a jar, and be like, Save it in a jar and then sell it on the internet for 30 bucks. 30? Only 30? No, that's what Belle Delphine is doing. That's what Belle Delphine is doing, dude. You mean Belle? Yeah, Belle Delphine, I think, whatever. She, I mean, let's be real. I call her Belle Del Dolphin, to be honest. Dolphin? That's, that's, insult. that's an insult to dolphins. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yeah, they don't want their dise her diseased water in, her, in their oceans. You, you still there? Um. Oh, you're uh, Yeah, but the point is, Delta Fiend, she appeals to, um, thirsty guys. Yeah, Very apparently thirsty super thirsty, willing to drink bath water. Incels. Yeah, incels. It's probably not even bath water, it's, it's not even her bath water. Like that video she made of, like, putting it in a jar, she probably just dumped it out, she probably got, like, mobile tap water. Yeah, I mean, but that doesn't explain how people got, well, supposedly herpes from it. That's not true. They did not get herpes from it. Okay, well, then I clearly got my information from BuzzFeed. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I just imagine, when you said that, I thought for a second you were going to be like, well, then I gotta find another solution, because I have herpes, and I bought Belle Defeat's water. <laughs> it's like, well, crap, I think I'm dying, then. <laughs> well, crap, clearly that... Clearly it wasn't Bell Dolphin because I bought her water, I chugged it, and now I have herpes. And now I'm gonna die in three months. Uh, yeah, well, I don't think herpes kills you that quick. No, 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 I was, it was, it was, it's something different than herpes, no. Oh, uh, well. That did, no, but uh, that didn't actually happen, no. But. No, by the way, if you bought Bell Dolphin's water, just why? <laughs> why? But, but why? You're buying someone's electric bill. Think about it. $30. Think about what you could do with $30. You could buy a good Steam game. You could buy a great Steam game. Bro, you could... Right. What, what's a good Steam... You could get Celeste on Steam. You could get you, you could get Celeste and another game that's $10. Which is... The, I mean, like, honestly, you would have wanted to play $30 for Celeste. How about this? Still. Wait for a Steam sale, buy the entire Valve pack, then get Celeste, and then there you go. There's your... Like, the Valve pack on a Steam sale is, like... Ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous, man. You could buy Westerado Double Barrel, a 8-bit Western game with great gun combat. <laughs> it's, it's, buy... it's Red Dead Redemption 2, but pixelated. <laughs> it's Red Dead Redemption, but 8-bit. Exactly. And you wear a poncho. It's like, you walk up to a character, and it's like a Pokemon game. It's like, I challenged in Incest Brother to a you fight. Could buy On water. Bell Defiend's water. You're it's probably not even her bath water. It's probably just tap water. And you're basically buying an electric bill right there. You are, yes. I mean, water bill, not electric bill. Dang it. Water bill. You're basically just... You know hey. What you should do? You should... Toss a toaster in a bathtub. Yeah, you should dump that water into your bath. You should fill the bathtub, dump the water into the bathtub, and then talk, jump, jump in the bathtub and then drop the toaster in it. <laughs> Make some toast in the bathtub. There you go. Make some toast in the bathroom while you're in it. So it's very important. He just like he just you just drop it in there. The police find you a few days later. They find they eat the toast and they're like, mm, yes, good toast. But like, dude, like, but like, write a note that said I did this because Bell Defeat sold me water. Then get Bell Defeat arrested. Ooh, yeah, that. <laughs> don't actually do that though. Don't actually do that. Also, if you bought Bell Defeat's water in the first place, you should. Well, you probably reconsider your life choices. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna support suicide, so we do not condone this suicide. We condemn well, we, don't we don't condone this we don't condone the slaughtering of self. Yes, but also do not condone uh framing although it's not really violence against Belle Defeat. No, but it's basically turning the internet against her. We do not well I mean the internet's already against her. The only people who are hmm. for her are the legions of thirsty fans. Her, her four, her four horsemen. Four horsemen. The oh, four wow. guys that actually buy the water. Four guys that actually, dude, it's sold out in like forty-eight hours, though. I know. That's what's so weird, though. That's what maybe like the four guys bought a bunch of them. It's like they just buy five boxes. They're like, we're done. But no, yes, Belle Delphine. We do not condone. Do not uh, 
lie and kill yourself to get Bill to be arrested. Do not do that. Yeah. Instead, what you should do. What you should do is go over to her house. Whoa. Um, plant a knife. Uh, and sprinkle some crack. Hey, what did we just say about violence? Oh, no, 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 no. We're not killing her. We're just putting a knife and crack in her house. That's it. Uh, hmm. By the way, all of what we just said is a joke, except for the part where you should reconsider your life if you bought Belt Pizza. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to say. <laughs> that part, that part where we said, uh, you should reconsider your life if you bought Belt Pizza water is dead serious. Dude, the people watching this video are probably just gonna be like, why are you talking about this? Because... I mean, we were originally on the topic of my Lisa story, and then we segued off of that. Well, yeah, because I mean, because you said, like, I don't know if it was a guy or a girl. Oh, we were talking about size, and then we went on to ninjas, and then Ninja Turtles came well, up. We were talking about ninjas, you said, like, I was surrounded by ninjas. And then you were talking about how the Ninja Turtles are now black, and then I, then you said Whoopi Goldberg, and then we talked about that. Oh, no, we talked about, we talked, no, I was taking a list on Tarzan, and I read a question, it's like, what are you doing? I'm taking a quiz on Tarzan, and you're like, what are you doing? You're like, dip, 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 dip. And then that segued everything. I was like, Turk is a, I was like, Turk is a girl, what? And then I, uh, then I went, over looked up who Turk is, and Turk was voiced by freaking Rosie O'Donnell. I said, I talked about how venomous Rosie O'Donnell is. Oh, jeez. See how fast freaking tangents can grow? And then, like, and then we were talking about how, like, one of her ex-wives died. It's tragic, but I made the point how it might have been Rosie O'Donnell's venomous kiss. Oh, my gosh. And then we got on to the point of the herpes. Then, yeah, we did. No, no, no. Then you start talking about Bell Defeat's water. And then you start talking gosh. about how, like, if you bought it, you should reconsider your life choices. Wow. <laughs> Okay. We started joking. Yeah, and then yeah, and, yeah. Except for the life choices thing. Yeah, except for the life choices thing. That's that's dead serious. Okay. So I said we started joking after we said you should consider your life choices. All right, I'm gonna cut the branch off right where we're at, and we're just gonna go right back to the Lisa story. Anyway, <laughs> when I, okay. whatever you wanna be, babe. What? <laughs> whatever you want me to be, babe. <laughs> okay, how did you read my mind? That was literally what I said during that entire Lisa conversation. <laughs> except for the babe part except for that <laughs> no it's it, it's like no I'm serious she was uh, uh, he was uh or whatever it was <laughs> yeah he was saying um how uh, I was saying how I uh, want some size and and they were saying like would you believe that I, I'm uh, flipping you off right now and I'm like, I'll believe anything you want me to believe. <laughs> and then I hung up. Needless to say, they did not call back again. I wonder, wonder what they thought after that. It's like, well, damn. Well, I hope that they believe that I have a 13-inch... <laughs> Wait, hang on a second. <laughs> well, hey, hey, they want you to believe that. <laughs> that well, I don't believe it. I I don't even. I'm still questioning what their gender was. So you lied to Lisa. That's why she. <laughs> Dang it! That's why I got no second date. <laughs> Whatever. The point being is that Lisa is is no an more. Odd fellow. Yeah, an odd fellow. Exactly. I don't even know I her gender. Called once, where like I pick up the phone, I'm like hello, I'm like hello, is this Joe? I'm like, no, this is Steve. It's like, oh, sorry. <laughs> no, this is Steve Bushimi. How's it going? <laughs> Steve, no, just like, you just like plug your nose. This is Steve Bushimi. Yeah, hello. How do you do, fellow kids? How do you do, fellow kids? You do, fellow kids. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I'm Steve Bushimi, also known as the voice of Randall Box in Monsters Inc. <laughs> I was thrown into the swamp. <laughs> no, you weren't thrown into a swamp. You were thrown into a trailer of some outback work. Yeah, it looked like it was. There's a gator in there, Al. Like, <laughs> Give me the frying pan! Bang, bang, dang. No, I think it was. Uh, I think it was the shovel. Oh dang it! I clearly need to watch that movie again. Man, my favorite thing in Kingdom Hearts three, you go to the Monsters Inc. World. I don't. I haven't played that game at all. None of them. Well, the point. This isn't much of a spoiler. Well, it's kind of a spoiler, but it's not really. It's nothing like vital to the plot. 
but there's a dude there named Vanitas who's causing a bunch of shenanigans. Wait, what's his name again? His name is Vanitas. Vanitas. Okay. I thought it was something dirty or something. No, Vanitas. Okay. His name is... Alright, but the point is, he's causing shenanigans there, and you beat him up, and then afterwards... He's of course, because it wouldn't be a Disney game without you beating someone up. Right, but he's like, but he's like, oh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm so, good, I'm so evil, and my plans don't work. And while this is happening, Sully grabs him, and Mike opens a door, and wow. they throw Benitez in that door, and then they take that door and throw it into another door, and they take that door and throw it into another door, and they shred that last door. Wow. You know, I, I'm, I'm wondering, I'm wondering right now, what would it, what would it look like on the other side of those doors that they threw that door through? It's like all of a sudden you're a kid, you're a kid in bed. And then all of a sudden, your closet door opens, and all of a sudden, the door comes flying out. You get smacked in the head with a door. <laughs> or it could be like those two Outback guys. Oh no, they shredded that door, I remember. Yeah. But it's like, it's like, you're in bed, you're in bed, your door opens up, all of a sudden, you see monsters on the other side throwing a door. Some, like, rich couple, they're like, they're like, you know, doing it, and then there's like a door lands on them. It's, it's like, it's like, uh, Donnie, why is there a door on me? It's like Donnie. It's like, no, the thing would like hit the, like, brain. oh my god, it hurts me so bad. It's like, there goes the old football injury of the, uh, of 09. Of 09. <laughs> Making it sound like it's a, like a bad thing. What, what is it with banishing people in Monsters, Inc.? I don't, I don't know, but they banished the abominable snowman, and he was previously a mailman. Why? At least according to the awful prequel movie. He apparently got sick and tired of his job, shredded people's mail. Just, yeah, he was just like, man, our tampering with mail is a crime punished by banishment. Yeah. I think it was something like that. He said, he got and it's funny because he's the one who advised against it, and it's like, oh wow, you got banished. I wonder why. It's probably because his ex-girlfriend was sending her long distance boyfriend something. <laughs> he was, <laughs> she was, she was sending. He she, went down in it that you're a big giant cuck and I hate you. <laughs> and I think that overall, that our relationship is very clearly not working because of your absolute whiteness. White. <laughs> you're too white for me. I want someone. I want someone blacker. Whoa! Hey! Even though, even though, like, the, even though, like, the monster, none of, almost none of the monsters are white. Wait, you mean played by white characters? No, I mean like none of the monsters are actually white in terms of their color. Oh like, yeah. More like gray, green, purple, pink, red. You know what I noticed? That no two monsters are the same. Yeah, exactly. Which is pretty nice. That's not true. There's some monsters that look similar. Oh wait, that's right. Mrs. Squibbles from the from the Monsters there's, University. There's also like you know those like weird like they almost look like uh, croissants. <laughs> I know. I haven't croissants, seen them. Croissants with eyes. Can you send me a picture of that? Hold on. <laughs> I'm I'm I'm. It's like you go to Olive Garden, you see one of those things in your basket. You're like, wait, what the heck? And they're like, I'm with the IRS. Let me... There he is. Alright, I found a... I found a... I found a... I can't wait to see this. Picture ...of the D... Like, there's a DJ in the monster in the prequel movie that he... That looks like one of these guys. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Hold on, let me send it. Let me go to Steam. I think I know what you're saying. I don't know. I, I'll have to see a picture, but this is gonna be good. It looks like a so good. Can I only? What? Hold on. This is a gif. This is also a gif. Looks well. I'm gonna be sending you a gif because it's not giving me a choice otherwise. Okay. You sick? Unless the gif fails too. But it doesn't look like the gift's gonna fail. Oh, there we go. Okay. Here it is. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, that is a croissant! <laughs> a croissant with eyes. There's multiple of those, but this one's blue, and there's one in the original. Dear goodness. Pink. Oh, yeah. It's purple, but yeah, it's just. 
how does that thing scare anybody? It looks more like one of those things that you put around your neck in a, like an airplane. You know what I find funny is they're like, they're like, oh, Mike Wazowski's not scary at all. Oh, he's, he doesn't scare kids. If I was a child and I was woken up by the sight of Mike Wazowski, I'd be freaking horrified. Yeah, where is this guy? He looks like something that pregnant women have on their necks, you know? <laughs> Hang on, let me see if I can find it. Hold on. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Yes, but the point being is that Mike Wazowski, if I saw him in real life, would be viciously scary. Seriously, yeah. Here we go. Now, actually, a lot of the monsters are pretty scary in real life. Compare that guy no, to this. Thing. Um, oh no. <laughs> yeah, that's what he is. He's a freaking <laughs> neck pillow. <laughs> a lot of them. Like, you know the purple thing in the Monsters Inc. prequel? Uh, yes. The, you just showed me that, yeah. No, not, not that. No, I mean, like, the one with arms. The one that's hairy and he has arms. And he's voiced by uh, Charlie from uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I don't know who that is, no. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to <laughs> use old find Google. You, find you an uh, image of. Use the old Google, you know? You, you, you sound like an 80 year old man when you say that. He's like, well, time to use the old Google. I looked up on Google what he is. The like the plushies that they use, like the dolls they sold, the toys. Oh, freaking horrifying! Send me one of those too. <laughs> All right, I'll send you two. I might have to end the episode after this though, cause it's like I am. I have to go to bed. All right. Well, I'll send you one real quick. I sent you this. I'll send you one of these real quick. All right here we go. I couldn't have two. No, not that one. I want. Where is it? Upload image. This one. Perfect. So here's the purple dude I'm talking about. Oh yeah, that guy. That guy's a bigger version of the neck pillow. Except this guy sucks on your head. Except this guy. It's no wait, hang on. Th this guy's a combination of a head crab and a neck pillow. Yep, and then here is the here's the doll and the a toy of him that's absolutely a creature from my nightmares. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jeez. He looks high. But no, like, they make the point that he's specifically not scary. As a matter of fact, other than Mike Wazowski, he's, like, the least scary one of their group. And he's... it's like, if I saw this thing ever, any, anything remotely resembling this thing in real life... You're running for the hills. I need a new pair of pants. Yo, new pair of pants, new town, new everything. Oh, it's so... I mean, seriously, it's like... It's... I forgot, I forgot what I was going to say there. Um... Because, like, all of them have, like, roars. Oh! No, like, roar. This guy, this guy's going to go, I'm a nerd. That's all he's going to say. <laughs> Not roar. Gosh, man. No, this... Roar, but, like, yeah, the one, the like, one line... Most of the scariest ones... There's like a bug guy that's like supposed to be seen as scary, who's pretty scary. There was one freaking tall guy from the from the movie, and I was like, what the heck? And remember from the Which beginning? Movie? Remember from the beginning they were playing frisbee? Oh, yeah, those it, massive. Yeah, frisbee. like they're going woohoo! It was just a head with arms and legs. It was like a giant pill, basically, like bacteria. I mean, this this guy, the the purple dude, I can remember the one line that he said, which was, I have an extra toe, not on me, of course. Not with me, of course. And I'm like, wait, wait, what are you talking about there, dude? <laughs> I just looked at G the site Giffy of Monsters U uh, guides, and you know the scene where they are running through the sewers, and there's like these pink urchins? Oh, yeah, he's like, I'm gonna touch him! Yeah, he's like, he's like, he's like, I wanna, he's like... He's like, I want to touch him. It's like you de It's like you definitely don't want to touch one of these things. Yep, I want to touch him. <laughs> yeah, it's like that's like, like that's my entire high school life. And they show him in the hallways, like, yep, 
I definitely want to touch him. It's, it's, it's like my entire high school life. I'm such a rebel, and it's like, you don't want to touch these chemicals. I'm like, I want to touch them. Yeah, it's like, don't. It's like, this is a cup full of mercury. Do not touch it. Or you will die. Definitely want to touch it. You, you underestimate my will to live, no, sir. It's like, it's like, it's like, I want to touch it. It's like, do not touch it. You will die. I really want to touch it now. <laughs> Thanks. You just encouraged me. <laughs> it's like, oh, do you need help? It's like, yes. The way to sway a teenager away from chemicals. Don't touch this. You'll live. To be honest, you know, these, you know the two, two Terry's in the movie? Uh, oh yeah. Like, one with two R's movie. and one with one. No, it's like one with an uh. It's like it's either like it's like one of the that. Like oh, with I'm with an I and I'm with a Y. No, one with a Y, one with an I. But like, to be honest, these things look like um. You know the movie Planet Fifty One. Yeah, I've seen that movie. That was an interesting movie. These things look like better characters from the movie Area Fifty One. Planet Fifty One, you mean? Like they took a character from that. They stuck two of them together. Porn. Call it. <laughs> no. Did you just say porn? No, you know, you know the joke where it's like, it's like a thing in porn where it's like, oh, look at these pictures. Why are they all stuck together? Oh, oh, yeah, your magazine. Why is it so sticky? Yeah, I just made a joke where it's like you take two characters, stick them together. Yeah, I get it. I all remember, right. I remember, all right, you know, all right, just really quickly. Okay. Right, right this is the last thing we're going to do. All right. Um, there's, you know the game Sly Cooper? No, I don't actually. Okay, well, it was a PlayStation game. It's really good, but also, um, in one of the, it's a series, but one of the characters in the series is Carmelita Fox, who's an agent, who's also a fox. It's like a wolf of animals, and your main character is a raccoon. And, um, I remember these guys playing the third game, and there's a bit in the third game where it's just guys as a photographer, and, like, take pictures for reasons. Okay. Because, like, you're trying to crash a wedding. Okay. And so, like, you disguise, like, a paparazzi guy, and... At the end of the mission, this is the same brother. You know the you know the brothers I told you about earlier, where he's like, I put applesauce on school pizza, and the other guy was like, Yeah, you need to be shot. <laughs> it's, it's like you just see a red dot. Guy, just for context, it's the same guy, and the one playing the game is the one that put applesauce on school pizza. But the one who told me you need to be shot said, All right, you know, you take two pictures of Carmelita, take two, stick them together, corn, call it Carmelita fix. Whoa, hey. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the one playing the game, brother. He was like, he was like, Jesus Christ. Whoa, this is an actual video. This is an actual video. I need to find the bit where they. I, I'll send you a link. To okay. Watch for later. It was some. Hold on. Here we go. Uh, Dude, it's like the the guy says you need to be shot, and it's like he takes out his phone, presses a button, and all of a sudden a laser dot touches the guy's forehead. It's like there you go. Order called. <laughs> I forget. It's so good. I'll find it. You, you know, I think one of the funniest things I've ever seen on the internet is when people use, like, I think Domino's to order Papa John's or something like that. You know, there's the uh, special, there's the special preferences box, and they just type in, okay, get Domino's. Video. You're going to want to skip to, like, 11 minutes. Okay, I'll have to watch this later. Or, like, 10 like 10 minutes and 50 seconds to see the bit where I'm talking about. I'm gonna write a um, reminder for myself. <laughs> the, way, the way he says it. Alright, there we go. Dude, have you ever heard of pineapples on pizza? <laughs> the Hawaiians, the, the ones who root pizza. I know, and what happened to them now? There's a, there's a volcano burning, so. <laughs> yeah, there's a volcano. Karma, my man. Volcano. Karma. Yeah, I think when God was designing uh, Hawaii, he somehow knew that they were gonna put, they were gonna ruin pizza. You know the movie Sc Spy Kids? Yeah. There was a m scene in the Spy Kids three movie when Steve Buscemi, or no, that's Spy Kids two actually. Steve Buscemi was saying, "Do you think God hides uh, from humans because of what they did?" And I, I, I was when I watched that again, I was like, "Yeah, I think they do. I think he does actually." <laughs> yeah. Steve Buscemi and freaking Spy Kids too. He's oh, he figured it. Like Steve figured it out. We we're we're done. Mm -hmm. All right, so you'll know you'll know the bit when it begins in the video. Okay. 
All right. He's like, I'll take that picture of Carmelita back, by the way. All right. And then he's like, who is this Carmelita? Well, okay. Take two. All right, just watch it later. All right, I gotta go. See ya. All right, see ya.